So here we are, Mount Everett track. Eight kilometers. So it's a nice, so this is a humail formation. And this track goes all the way that way so you can actually follow it forever, pretty much. So we are here. So we're here. And this one goes all the way down there. So this is Mount Begerty. Not that one? Biggery. Biggery, whatever. It's like 480 meters. And then uh, then you got another mountain. But, you know, so you can see the contour lines. They follow the, the ridge down. It's like a little, little valley. But the valley goes that way, so that's the side of the hill. Oh no, that's a crest. So this is following the whole mountain. Then you got valley this side, valley that side. And then you got like, you got a cycline here. You got an anticline up here. So the sedimentary rock is dipping pretty much southeast. Uh, so that's where the dip is. And so you can follow this all the way around. It goes down to this place here. It's on the weekend, so there's lots of... So here's King Lake. And that's the road there. Do you want to go up the hill? Yeah. Hoi Sanama. So where's this pink flower? Here you go, Dina. Huh? Do you want the keys in case I fall off the cliff? Ah! Look at the, the, the silt stone. So if you walk along here, you can find fossils in this rock. You know the trilobite? Hey, hey, hey. Brachiopods. Can't really tell a dip or whatever. See the actual rock itself, it's highly weathered. I don't think you're gonna find any any fossils in that one. What they need to do is they need to dig it out so then they can I can come here and take all the fossils away. Now yeah. what are you giving me black piece for? Yeah, that's the bell one. So it's very windy today. Probably like 50, 60 k winds, and I'm on top of a peak. My wife likes these pink flowers. I forget what they're called, but I'll find out the name. So these are a native flowers to Australia. Especially Victoria, like bell shape. 
So winter time these actually flower. They probably flower a lot of times a year. Quite nice. So there probably won't be any koalas here. Yeah. The habitat's just too dry and they prefer moister habitat. Okay, so you can probably see a lot of the trees are black. So this is from the 2009 bushfire. So a lot of the trees died back then. So you've got a lot of new growth. Uh, but some of them also reshooted, like that one over there.
Here's what's left of a tree, you can see. This one did start to regenerate, but then the bark come off the tree somehow. That one looks like it's from that tree there. So they probably died after the bushfire. So as you can see this tree reshooted. So it's a younger growth. And the older growth also started to rejuvenate, but then the main branch died at some time. Here's the silt stone, it looks, feels very silty. More fossils in that one. Here's some more silt stone, that's a, that's a weathered surface. see any fossils in that one so it's fairly weathered as you can see the exposure is also pretty weathered you'd be hard pressed to find fossils in that so just looking at this uh, looks like the extra striking dip is pretty much 90 degrees there most of the ever rock exposure, you can't really tell which way the bedding plane is. And this is all man made because they made the roads, so they had to excavate all this. Continue going up the hill. In case a koala attacks you, <laughs> a drop bear. Ah, look how the trees get smaller. Just see the hillside in the far ground. So over there that way is the anticline somewhere. It doesn't 100% correspond with the 
peak of the hill. Someone's house is over there. Look at this grass tree. Ah, that's a big grass tree. That'll be decades old. You got some small ones down here. Eucalyptus tree is probably a type of uh, iron bark, but I'm not too sure on the species. Okay, so that's supposed to be Melbourne there. Obviously the camera's not good enough. Lots of bracken. Fern that enjoys living in uh, dry areas. So it doesn't really need a moist habitat. Here's a large tree, it shows a lot of burnt marks. The top of the canopy is pretty much dead, so it's pretty much the side of the canopy. Do you want to go up the hill? There's a white flower there. Mm. What's that smell? Oh, what? Mm. Okay. You scared to see people? No? Oh, this is a bit wet here. Outside this one. So this is the south side of the actual hill and as you can see it's, it retains a lot more water so it's actually a lot wetter than the north side in which we run. I see that the trees are a lot bigger. So that one's probably a few hundred years old, you reckon? Mm. As old as me, a few hundred years old? 
Đây em có nha Tiếng cả Would you like to go down the hill? And then walk up the hill? 